Hello everyone, I'm Brandon with Lenovo and I'm here today with the M93P Small Form Factor Desktop. Today we are going to be replacing the optical drive. This process will take about 10 minutes and it should be easy enough for anyone to do. There are no tools required, but a non-metallic pry tool might come in handy. Before we continue, we need to make sure that we're protected against electrostatic discharge or ESD. Make sure to shut down your computer and disconnect all cables and accessories from the system. For more information, watch our Understanding Electrostatic Discharge video by clicking the link in the description. And now that we're ready, let's get started. To remove the computer cover, we must remove two thumb screws in the back of the machine. So the first thumb screw and the second thumb screw. Then we're going to press down on the release button and slide the cover towards the rear of the chassis and remove it. Now we're going to pull outward on the clips to release the bezel. Now we're going to swing the front bezel open like a door and remove it. So now we need to open the drive bay assembly. To do so, you just press inward on the latch marked with the blue touch point and pivot the drive bay assembly upwards until the latch springs into place. When removing the optical drive from the bay, you first need to remove the SATA cable and power cable. Then you're going to press inward on the blue touch point, lift the drive slightly and release the blue touch point, then lift the drive fully out of the bay. Now we're going to remove the retaining clip and set it aside for the new optical drive. Now here we have our new optical drive, and now we're just going to install the retaining clip into the four holes, and then it just kind of sits there on the drive. To replace the optical drive, simply align it to the bay and slowly lower it until it latches into place. Then connect the power and the SATA connectors. To close the drive bay assembly, we need to press inward on this latch marked with the blue touch point and pivot the drive bay assembly downward until it latches into place. When replacing the front bezel, there are three hinge clips that we want to align with the three holes on the inside of the chassis. You're gonna line those up and then close the front bezel like a door. We're gonna press inward on the clips to secure the front bezel. When replacing the computer cover, we want to assure that we're lining up the tabs on the cover with the slots in the chassis. Just kind of place the cover down onto the chassis and slide it forward. Finally, we replace two thumb screws in the rear of the machine. The first thumb screw and the second thumb screw. 